starting tonight with a tease and a quick jump off in the last few minutes of Monday's Supergirl midseason finale, the CW's Aliens Attacking themed multi-night superhero invasion title crossover really takes off tomorrow on The Flash and then Wednesday on Arrow, which is marking its 100th episode as well, and then on Thursday's DC Legends of Tomorrow. And collectively and individually, while it feels a lot like a movie in three parts, these are actually some of the best episodes that any of the three series have ever had, crossover or not. Or at least until we see what Marvel's The Defender has for us on Netflix next year, as Arrow's Emily Brett Rickard says in the Flash episode, Best team up ever. In short, after two Flash and Arrow crossovers and one Supergirl Flash team up, all of which I like, I have to be honest about, this mega meetup is where the aim is high. And like Arrow himself, mostly on target. In large part because of the smooth chemistry between Grant Gunston's Flash, Stephen Amell's Arrow, and Melissa Bonet's Supergirl, who has even more snap than usual here, but actually is kind of well underused oddly. And I have to add too, the deadpan malcontent of Prison Break alum Dominic Purcell's Heat Wave. Proving that like over in the Marvel world on Netflix, the DC Universe is even more vigorous on the small screen than the big one. How did you get the name Heat Wave? I burned my family alive and I like to light things on fire. What's well, the colorful backstory. Now based somewhat on this 1988 Todd McFarlane drawn series, and despite looking pretty sharp, obviously Invasion lacks the mega budget production value of say the upcoming Zack Snyder directed Justice League flick. But the Greg Berlanti, Andrew Kreisberg, and Mark Guggenheim EP crossover sure has a lot of heart, a lot of heat, some history, time twists, a lot of in-jokes and quick quips, sorry Billy Joel and Princess Bride, and among it, plots of consequence for all the CW shows. Have fun still in the castle. If you're gonna use Princess Bride against me, here we go. It's also a pretty damn good celebration of the 100th episode of the Stephen Amell-led Archer series, which goes deep into its own mythology for the Star City crowd and is within the crossover itself still maintaining a strong standalone element of its own, which I think is very hard and very well done, amidst also some very familiar places and some very strong performance by no less than the Green Arrow himself. Now, no spoilers here, but with a sweet Hall of Justice visual nod that will surely send the fanboys and fangirls into the stratosphere, some better than expected TV visual effects, and a bit of the plot of the original Independence Day and the Matrix via the alien villains, the Dominators, the whole gang gets together pretty fast and jumps Earth to add a certain Krypton native to Team Arrow, The Legends of Tomorrow, and Team Flash, with the Scarlet Speedster as overall team leader, but the often stern Emerald Archer offering, let's just say, more than his fair share of guidance in a timeline that's already gone off the rails thanks to some messy fast footwork from The Flash. And to put it mildly, there's also a little fighting among friends. So whether you watch night by night or in one DVR binge, you'd be remiss not to watch Invasion on the CW this week, especially the emotionally charged 100th Arrow episode. So let the team up games begin this year, because I think there's still gonna be more to come. <laughs>